am. What do you call someone who works in a chain store and draws pictures real fast? Can I give up? A quick chains artist. There will be visitors from around the world at the Founders Day Festival. That foreign language phrase book could really come in handy. Right as rain, Freddy, it's all yours. As soon as you give me one orange sea urchin, that is. anywhere before. Flying was really neat. Hey, Pelican Sam, what's the difference between a spider monkey and a cat of green beans? I don't know, Luther. Nothing personal, but if you don't know, I'd say you have a little problem there, Sam. La, la, la. Something expensive! Yikes! I almost lost a fin! I'm not trying that again! Not without something to keep that clam from snapping shut! That old fishing net is blocking our path. I wonder how we can get past it. Hmm... I wonder what will happen if I pull this plug? Great job! I knew you could pull it off! Get it? Pull? Off? Oh, Luther! Hey, Luther! What word do the letters U-R-C-H-I-N spell? A pop quiz? Can't think! Brain failing! Ah! You're so silly! They spell urchin, as in, we found a purple sea urchin. We have one purple sea urchin. I'd better hold on to this. You just never know when a drain plug might come in handy. What we need is a surefire way to keep that clam saying ah. Oh. Luther! Freddy! Over here! Uncle Blenny? Uncle Blenny, what are you doing in jail? Well, Luther, the great conch shell was stolen. The Founders Day Festival can't start without it. Since I'm the grand exalted keeper of the conch, I'm the prime suspect. But I didn't do it. Here, here's a diagram of the conch shell before it was taken. The priceless conch had three golden pipes, but they may have fallen out. And here's a picture of all the people who were nearby when the crime happened. There's Gil Barker, Claw, Nadine the Narwhal, Rosie Pearl, Pierre the Tailor, and Horst Fetters the Tourist. Can't your dogfish sniff out the thief? Old Soggy Sniffer ain't what it used to be. <laughs> but if he can get the three golden pipes, he can pick up the scent. We'll find the three golden pipes, Uncle Blenny. You're my only hope, nephew. You and your friend, Freddy Fish.
Oh. Hey, old Fox, what do we do when we find the bad guy? <laughs> That's my plan, too. Mother. It's tough to see you in there, Uncle Blenny. You look so sad. Jail is an awful place, nephew. I just can't wait to get out of here. But are you a tailor? Not just a tailor. I am Pierre the tailor. When Pierre men sing say are better than new. So if something was torn into a million billion teensy little pieces, could you mend it together? Be sure. With my eyes closed, floating on my head, and with both fins tied behind my back. Do you know, I'm the greatest tailor in the whole wide world. No, but if you hum a few bars, I'll fake the rest. Whoa, sir. To prove Uncle Blenny is innocent, we still need to find all the golden pipes so old Soggy can help us catch the thief. Golden pipe, Freddy. Oh. Ah. Uh oh. I broke it. No, you didn't, Luther. We just need to find a way to make the handle stay on. Look, a purple sea urchin. How come there are no pink polka dotted sea urchins? But there are. They live in the secret sea where everything is pink and polka dotted. You just made that up, didn't you? Uh huh. won't be getting together for dinner anytime soon. By the way, name's Magenta. I'm Luther, and this is Freddy Fish. Silver key. We need the handle to stay on so we can open the crab pot and get the golden pipe.
Det är precis det jag inte tycker om Horst. Sir, about that shim sham jimity jam clapper gapper in your bag? Det är precis det jag inte tycker om. We'll have to find a way to communicate better. Hey, look! There are loads of orange sea urchins in this wallet! We're rich, rich, rich! This wallet doesn't belong to us, Luther. According to this identification card, it belongs to someone who used to be the Grand Exalted Keeper of the Conch. I'll hold on to it until we can find the owner. Hey, get out of the Bullies Club! Yeah, well... Guys got the perfect dimensions for punching bags. Now stop bugging me, or I'll take out my pen of frustrations on ya. This guy just doesn't know how to be a polite host. Is this your wallet? No, but I'll take it anyways. No, you won't. Luther and I will only give it to its rightful owner. We found this wallet. My wallet! You're both doing such a good job helping me. Please take an orange sea urchin for your trouble. Thanks a lot. Just one? Luther, say thank you. Thank you, Uncle Blanny. If we're going to save the Founder's Day in the case of the stolen conch shell, Nadine the Narwhal is one of the suspects. Step right up, gills and buoys, for the most amazing carnival under the sea. You remember the terrific tumble tubes ride last year? Well, what we've got in store for you this year is even better! Gee, what's the matter? It's this thing stuck on my tooth. Only 1% of Lady Narwhals grow a tooth, you know. But now it's ruined, defaced by this metal nut. How'd that nut get stuck on there? More to the point, how will I ever get it off? Come on, Luther, let's lend a fin. Ah! Oh dear, my beautiful tooth. Don't worry, we'll find a way to remove that nut. Look, Luther, a plastic shovel. We could use it to dig a hole all the way to the other side of the world. Whatever you say, Luther. Look, Freddy, it's a purple sea urchin. Got it. I sure wouldn't want to get my tail caught in that clam's sharp scissor-like jaws. Gee, that fish looks like it's really hungry for those kelp vines. Mm. These kelp vines are too thick for us to get past. Ah. 
What? That tastes horrible. If we can find someone who likes to eat this type of kelp, then we can get through this doorway. Well, dive down deep into the murky sea. Well, that's where you run into me. I'm a cool catfish with an attitude. I got plenty of style to make you feel so cool. Come take a swim in the blue. I'll make you feel so cool. Oh, oh. Wow, it's a Grandma Grouper fortune teller machine. I've heard about these. Look, Freddy, I found a purple sea urchin. Toss it over here, and I'll hang on to it for later. Good work, Luther. <laughs> Things always work out for the best. Words of wisdom indeed. They brought a carnival organ in for the Founders Day Festival. I love music. Looking for fun? Got four purple sea urchins just burning a hole in your pocket. Then step right up to Gil Barker's fantastic floating fun. You can have more fun than a barrel of brine shrimp. Just pay, then play. Hey, hey, what do you say? I just flew in on a manta ray. Here's a purple sea urchin. That's just one purple sea urchin. I need three more before you guys get through the door. Another purple sea urchin for you. Purple sea urchin number two, but that ain't gonna do. Two purple sea urchins more bring the total to four. Here's another purple sea urchin. That's three purple sea urchins, and I'm one away from having enough to let you play. Here's our last purple sea urchin. Four purple sea urchins, precisely the price of admission. And fortunately for you, too, we're having a special. For every little yellow fish that pays admission, a little green fish gets in absolutely free. Boy, did I ever hit this on the right day. Flip the critters up the wall. When enough of the same critters touch each other, they'll go away. If you use all the critters in the tube, you'll advance to a new level. But watch out. When the critters move above the bar, they won't go away. Hmm? 
Ready to play again? Want an orange sea urchin? from around the world at the Founders Day Festival, that foreign language phrase book could really come in handy. Right as rain, Freddy, it's all yours. As soon as you give me one orange sea urchin, that is. How would you like to sell that foreign language phrase book for one orange sea urchin, Sam? I'd rather get a snack, but an orange sea urchin will do. Thanks a lot, Sam. We'll put this to good use. Freddy, I can't understand a word that foreign tourist is saying. Maybe we can find the language he's speaking in this foreign language phrase book. <laughs> the flag that's selected in the foreign language phrase book doesn't match the flag on this bag.
The flag that's selected in the foreign language phrasebook matches the flag on this bag. May we please have the Shim Sham Jimity Jam Clapper Gapper that's in your bag? So, the Shim Sham Jimity Jam Clapper Gapper that's been giving horse feathers so much trouble is what you want? I'd be glad to give you to it. Thank you, Mr. Feather, sir. A Shim Sham Jimity Jam Clapper Gapper will keep that clam from snapping shut. Okay, Luther, I'm gonna need your help. Righto, Freddy! <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> I got a golden pipe! I don't care what anyone else says, you're a good fish. Now we need just two more golden pipes for old Zoggy to pick up the scent. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. Gee, I wonder how many golden pipes Freddy and Luther have now. I sure hope you're right. Oh. I don't think I ever appreciated how good it is to breathe the water of freedom. We'll prove that you're innocent and get you out of there as quick as we can, Uncle. Old Doggy, play dead. <laughs> wow, he really knows his tricks. Old Soggy Sniffer just ain't what it used to be. He's going to need all three golden pipes before he can pick up the scent. We're trying to find two more golden pipes, Uncle Blenny. You're both doing such a good job helping me. The tongue is the enemy of the neck. What does that mean? I think it means that you shouldn't say things that could get you into big trouble. Luther, I never realized you were so wise. Yeah, I'm a real wise guy, all right. Not to mention an expert at getting into big trouble. <laughs> There must be 
must be a way to get past those thick kelp vines. These tubes, Luther, but you can go. I really like going on adventures together, Freddy. Yippee! I think this makes you go through the tubes. This just open that too. <laughs> Freddy, the label says it's extra padded for insulation and safety. This old glove might just come in handy. It's a drain plug. It's a drain plug. It's a protective work glove. It's a protective work. It's a 
it's a protective work glove. That handle will fall off again unless we find something to hold it on. Look, Freddy, there's something behind that waterfall. Wait! Knocked the wind out of me. Me too. We're just gonna have to find another way to get to that waterfall. Diving into that waterfall may be dangerous, but danger is my middle name. Luther, that's not your middle name. And besides, there must be a way to safely get through the falling water. It's a drain plug. It's a protective work glove. It's a protective work glove. It's a plastic shovel. It's a drain plug. But it looks like it's locked up tighter than a... Uh, uh... Tighter than something that's locked up tight, Luther? Uh, yeah. We'll just need to find a way to unlock it. This key looks like it will open that lock. can sniff out the thief. A heavy-duty glove can protect me from that prickly plant. All set. Stand back, citizen. This is a job for Mighty Fish. Luther, you got the pliers, but are you okay? Swell, but next time, I'm using a stunt double. Is it true that we're not going to have a festival? Is it, Mommy? Gee, I hope they can find the conch show so we can have a festival. I've waited all year. I wish I could get this metal nut off my tooth. Just hold still, Nadine. We'll have that nut off in two shakes of a guppy's tail. Oh, Rapture. I'm normal again. 
this might come in handy. But don't worry, Luther. You're still my favorite nut. Gee, thanks, Freddy. I think... We can use this nut to hold the handle on. Got it! Good work, Luther! We did it, Freddy! We found all three golden pipes! Come on! Let's see if old Soggy can pick up the bad guy's scent. Here you go, boy. Come on, Luther. We've got a bad guy to catch. get you out so you can put the jewel back and we can catch that thief. <coughs> Old Soggy, you go on ahead and track that shell thief. We'll meet you back at the center of town as soon as we can. shade of red. I hope this doesn't set off another trap. But I've got to try everything to get Luther out. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. This red crystal could really come in handy if I could only break it loose. off this green crystal. It might come in handy. Gosh, this crystal is stuck on tighter than a barnacle on a breakwater.
It's a chisel. I should hold on to this. It might come in handy. A chisel could loosen that crystal. This crystal sure gives off a lot of green light. might come in very handy. Hey, the crystal grew back. I've already gotten the green crystal. I don't need it. This beautiful red crystal sure gives off a lot of light. That could come in very handy indeed. Beautiful blue. Uh, oh, uh, phew, this blue crystal could really come in handy. If only I could break it loose. Wow, look at the light from this blue crystal. That could come in handy. Crystal, crystal, hear my wish. Free Luther the trapped green fish. If wishes were fishes, I'd be seafood. Crystal, crystal, between you and me, will you set Luther free? So much for that. This crystal isn't heavy enough to open that trap. Looks like we'll have to find another way to set Luther free. I need to get Luther out. Right. Nothing in this place is as easy as it looks. I have an idea. I got it! That crystal sure is pretty. Yikes! 
let's put that jewel back. Look, Lothar, the thief must have dropped this bag. <gasps> Looks like we can solve this case. Come on. And now, for the first time ever, the show won't go on. Pshaw! If Pierre was in charge, this would never have happened. It's all Uncle Blenny's fault. I'm gonna give that bomb a piece of my mind. Please kill me! Stop! Uncle Blenny is innocent. <gasps> the thief dropped this bag. When we looked inside, we found bread and a sewing needle, which means the thief is... Pierre! You're the thief! Ridiculous! That could have been anybody's thread and sewing needle in that bag! You have nothing on me! Oh la la! Oh no? <laughs> All right, uh, maybe you do have something on me. I confess, the great conch is the ultimate expression of exquisitely good taste. It would have made the ultimate accessory for my latest and greatest fashion creation. The great conch isn't just an ornament. It's an important part of life under the sea. Also, being great at something you do doesn't give you the right to do bad things. And no matter how you look at it, stealing is bad. I feel smaller than the krill. I am a sorry, Needlefish. I return to you, the great conch. Uncle Blenny, we're sorry we blamed you. That's okay. I'm still the grand, exalted keeper of the conch. Thanks to Freddy and Luther. <laughs> and old Froggy. Gosh, what can I ever do to thank you? Just do your duty, oh grand exalted keeper of the conch. Pierre was convicted of breaking penal code 919 for only thinking of himself. As punishment, Pierre was sentenced to 4,284 hours of public service, sewing hand puppets for underprivileged humpback whales. Case closed. Do you 
want to start the game all over? Are you all done playing with us? See you real soon!